So for the first round of the block stitch border, you're just going to be popping in a round of double crochet granny clusters all the way around. Um, I'm using my continuous join as you go sample um, just to show you. So I'm back using the Soft Fun. Um, as always, the colour shades are below in the description. So I'm continuing with white because obviously I joined using white. So I'm doing a row of just granny, just like you're extending your granny square. Um, I've done most of it already just so this video isn't 20 years long. Uh, I did want to touch on the fact of how to keep your border flat when you're putting, or putting a... Uh, granny row around freshly joined squares so at the point at which your corners join you do a double crochet two together now i've got a video on how to do a double crochet two together um there ish <laughs> should be a link to click as always all the links are in the description box below um i'll show you briefly now but obviously i'm using white on white it's quite hard to see so at the point where your corners are joined you pop a double crochet into the first corner space and then you're going to work a double crochet two together over the two chain spaces so yarn over pull through two stop and then straight into the next <coughs> sorry straight into the next corner space yarn over pull through two stop so you've got three loops on your hook on over, pull through all three. So you've done a double crochet, two together over these two chain spaces. And then you pop your final double crochet into that second space. So I know I whizzed over that fairly quickly. Um, I will release a tiny short little video in a few days, maybe tomorrow. I might even upload it today to show you in more detail how I'm doing that to keep your your blanket flat so like I say I just wanted to touch on that I'm following what I did in my my granny squares below which is along the sides three double crochet chain one three double crochet and I'm using three chains for the corners if you already have your blanket if you didn't have chain ones on your actual granny squares then don't do chain ones this the uh, block stitch works without the chain one so you don't need to worry i'm literally just continuing what i was doing with my particular squares so it will still work without this chain one don't panic too much about that if you haven't got it so uh, three double crochet again i'm at a point where they meet so it's one double crochet a double crochet two together over the two chain spaces each corner and then a double crochet in here and carry on so go all the way around your blanket the first row in the granny style whatever color you want I personally like to have block stitch have the little colors I've used in the blanket peeping through with the granny sections the same cohesive color but you can do any colors you like so I'm just finishing up this row here I'm going to join to the beginning cut my yarn leave a nice generous tail And that's the first row of the block stitch border. So now it's time to bring in some color. Now I will work it over. You can see I've got the uh, double crochet two together on every point. I'll work this little demo on this sample just over these two corners. So I won't go, keep going all the way round because we don't have all day. <laughs> so I'll just show you how it's worked over this corner so you can see how to work it on the sides and in the corners so i'm going to bring in my first color 
which is this pale yellow, because that's the lightest colour after the white. Pick a area where I'm going to join, and you want to attach your yarn in between your granny clusters. So I'm just going to attach my yarn. I just pop a slip knot on, you don't have to. You can attach your yarn colours however you usually do, and just bring it to the front. And you're going to chain one and pop a single crochet into that same space. So a single crochet is just tiny little stitch like that. Chain three, single crochet into the next space in between your clusters. Chain three, single crochet. Chain three, single crochet. Now on the corners, you're going to pop single crochet, chain three, single crochet, all into that same space. Chain three, single crochet. That's it, it's that simple. Chain three, single crochet. Do that all the way round and on your corners, you want to be doing single crochet, chain three, single crochet, all into your corner space. So keep going all the way round, chain three, single crochet. Do you see how that's straddled? Joining section. So you want to do that all the way round your blanket. So you get back to here and when you get to this point you're going to join with a slip stitch so you'll have a single crochet chain three join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet you did and then cut your yarn Oops. so I'm just going to leave this here for now so let's pretend you've done that all the way round and then you want to come back with your white. So you're going to attach the white into your chain three spaces that you've made into these loops. Just in here. And in these chain three loops that you created, you're going to have three double crochet. So I'm chaining three to start, which counts as my first double crochet. Two, three. So your granny clusters again. I'm gonna chain one, three grannies, your clusters, three double crochets into the next loop you're skipping that single crochet you did so ignore that chain one three double crochet you do that all the way along the edge until you get to your corner and at which point this loop of three in the corner in there you're going to put three double crochet chain three three double crochet, just like you would on a granny square. All into that space. This is such a nice, simple, yet effective border to pop on. And then carry on. So in all these chain three loops, you're going to put three double crochet. Chain one, skip that single crochet, three double crochet. Chain two, 
when you get back to your original starting point over here you're going to slip stitch to the top of your initial chain three just to join it there can you see how it just peeks through so simple so effective and also it'll be lying nice and flat because you hadn't put in extra stitches here and you've got your double crochets so I'm going to do a few more of these and then I'll meet you back over here with your next colour. So my next colour is going to be the stronger yellow. And just like before with this pale yellow, I'm going to join in between my sets of three double crochet. So just pop your hook in, your yarn. Oops. Oh, for heaven's sake, who knew this was so difficult? <laughs> okay, chain one, single crochet in the same space. Chain three, and you're off again. Single crochet in between the granny clusters. Chain three, single crochet, chain three. And on your corners, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, all in the same space. And then carry on round, chain three, single crochet, chain three. It's as simple as that. So you keep going for as long as you like with a round of white followed by a round of the single crochet. And you can see you're left with just single crochets peeking out and it leads for a really nice, pretty edge, which just echoes the colors you've used in your blanket. Now. It is completely optional how you want to leave it. Sometimes I leave it as this with this, the chain threes as the final, the final row. Um, sometimes I will finish on a white granny row and then I'll run a single crochet around the top perhaps. So it's very flexible. Your blanket, see what you prefer. Like I say, you can leave it at this stage. You can do as many different colors. I'll probably go on to do the light gray and the dark gray as well. And that's it. It's a really simple, really quick, great little effective border. And I particularly like it on a granny square because it gives a nice, pulls everything into shapes. So you can see how nice and square this is all looking when you're sort of over here, sort of going, oh, it doesn't look brilliant. By the time you add on this really simple border, your blanket looks great. So very simple, very quick. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Um, if I've gone too fast at any point, you can pause the video. Um, that's pretty much it really. You can find me on social media if you've got a question. Um, it's fine to send me a photo of what you've done. If you need help, I work better often from a visual guide rather than written description. So you can find me on Facebook, um, I'm on Instagram, you can even drop me an email if you want to. All my contact details are in the description box below, um, along with the yarn colours I've used, a link to where I get it from. It's from my, my usual yarn dealer of Snuffle Bean. And uh, that's it, enough waffle from me, I am off. Enjoy crocheting. <laughs>